Hi, I'm Mike Farrelly from Farrelly Photos, major sponsor of the Auckland Rugby League Women and Leagues competition. We're well known around rugby league circles for our proud tradition of formal team photos. Farrelly Photos is far much more, from corporate images right through to people in business and portrait photography. We want to bring a special offer to our client clubs this season. We'll put all of our team photos, or Farrelly photos, from 2005 to the last season up on your website as a slideshow, free of charge. We're looking forward to a great season through the rest of 2018. Uh, remember those clubs, just contact me. Team photos coming up. Just email photos at farrelly.co.nz and we look forward to working in partnership with you too. Thank you to the major sponsors for only photos, major sponsors for Women League Day. We're here with Mike Farrelly, director of Farrelly Photos. We're down here at the Farrelly Photos Women in League Day. Well, Mike, I've seen you've been having a little walk around. How are you enjoying the day so far? It's been a great afternoon so far. Um, I've been watching a few of the games. The depth of the, uh, the passion in the league is just fantastic out here today. You've come on board as the principal sponsor for the women's competitions this year. Talk us through your motivation for that, Mike. Well, what um, we could achieve through the live um, live broadcast here is just the depth of penetration through to our client base it's just been fantastic um, the things that have been um, Troy and yourself have been able to do for us in terms of um, the interviews and things and the knowledge that we're getting out and just the exposure of our brand into our, um, our real partnership into the clubs yeah. I was going to ask for a local business like yourself obviously having these matches live streamed here at the Women in League Day how big is that for you? That's huge because it's reaching right into into our um, client base um, it's targeting our brand right in depth and um, with a, a good breadth into uh, the extended um, community of the league. Chosen a pretty good year to come on board. The uh, Farley Photos Women's Premiership is very competitive this year. We've also got the uh, carrot, I guess, uh, at the end of the year of the NRL Women's Competition. So are exciting times for the female game? Indeed, the development that's going on right through the um, starting at the 13s pilot scheme um, has been incredible. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the um, opportunity now for professional um, through the NRL, um, it's just um, really made this competition come alive. I think the, um, the number of uh, Kiwi Ferns and NRL players who have got coming through the Auckland competition uh, has been fantastic. For those who might not know much about Farrelly Photos, just talk us through what you actually do at Farrelly Photos, Mike. Farrelly Photos is um, probably well known for our sports teams, um, client um, clubs. Um, we've been a long established brand. Um, have um, a good archive collection of um, all of our, our photos. It's important to us to, to retain and hold those for, the, um, for our clients. Um, uh, we also, uh, um, beyond um, team photos, of course, um, are specialists in, in large groups um, and people in business, people in portraiture, um, really the people's photographer. You go the people's photographer. You heard it here, and uh, Mike, uh, as well as uh, obviously, you know, you've mentioned uh, what you do. I know uh, you've got a special offer for the clubs. I believe. Talk us through that. That's right. We really I want to develop a partnership with our client clubs, um, and we're offering for our clients um, to put all their photos that um, Farrelly Photos have taken from 2005 right through to 2000, or right through to the last season. Um, that's all our digitised files. 
on their website absolutely free of charge. And uh, a good example of some of the work Mike does do, the new Mangere East Club rooms. Mike, now just um, talk us through that. I understand you've kind of trawled through the archives there and uh, broken it down by era for them. Just talk us through that project. Yeah, that was very cool. That um, came out of their anniversary um, and an opportunity to digitise all of their uh, um, archives. Um, and we were able to make some large format posters that go on, on the wall. So they've got all their um, special teams from each decade um, and a large frame photo. Um, beyond that, we've um, been able to uh, do all their Kiwi photos um, and get those up on the club and more for them, right through to um, just recently um, Mr. Assessi and making the American t game, um, and he's now on the club room wall. It's a quick turnaround. We got it up for the opening yesterday afternoon and um, spent um, Friday evening there um, just as a candid photographer. Um, so that's you know it's sort of the breadth of the services that we can offer. We really want to work in partnership with the clients um, and bring up whatever photography skills we can to the offer. And uh, we will be taking a look at uh, some of the photos that Mike has been taking from around the grounds here today, so keep an eye on our Facebook page for that one as well. Well, Mike, I know you're keen to get out and watch some more of the footy, so we're going to let you go. Thank you very much for joining us, and mostly thank you for your support of Women's Rugby League. Thank you, Corey. It's been a fantastic opportunity for Farrelly Photos. Um, really appreciate what the Auckland Rugby League and the ARL TV has done for us. One last thing, Mike, if uh, clubs or individuals want to get in contact with you, what's the best way to go about that? Best way is um, by email, just photos at farrelly.co.nz uh, or give us a call 0800 274 6868, 0800 274 6868. There must be a website in there as well. There is, www.farrelly.co.nz. There we have it. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Thank you very much, Corey. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to ARL TV. My name's Troy Hardy and I'm with Juanita Woodhouse and what a fabulous young lady she is. And Juanita, this is Woman in League. It's a big celebration for the Auckland Rugby League being down here. And I want to start with 20 something odd years you've been involved with Rugby League going back to Carlaw Park. Tell us about that. 22 years actually. Alright, so that's what it's like in admin up at the ARL ladies and gentlemen. So 22 years started Carlaw Park. Let's go back. Yep, started as a receptionist, now the football admin manager. Managed the Auckland women's teams for about four or five years maybe. And then went on to manage the Kiwi Ferns for 13 years. 13 years, so you've been a big rugby league fan for many years? Not really. Then how did you get involved? <laughs> All I saw was a job advert. Applied for it. My husband hit the roof and said, oh my God, she's going to be working at Carlaw Park. He must, he must have been absolutely <laughs> wrapped that he had a trophy wife working at Carlaw. Uh, he was, because I had no idea what Carlaw Park meant. So all these years on, what are, what are some of your fondest memories of being involved with the Rugby League? Because not only, um, you know, being at the Auckland Rugby League, you're a bit of a stalwart at the Manorewa Marlins as well. And, you know, as you said, a lot of time with the Kiwi fans, you must love the game. I do. Never actually watched a proper game as such, because I manage mostly, mm -hmm. so I see it differently to most people, and my opinions are not the same as everybody else's. Well, yes, I'm, I'm known that you are very strong-minded, <laughs> and um, and I understand you used to play second row. Oh no, I've never ever played the game. If you could play, which position would you play? Uh, left, right out. Left, right out. And in regards to today? Let's talk a little bit about what's happening today, you know, um, what's involved from the admin side and, um, you know, and oh, what's your part? Just a matter of setting it all up, doing our live scoring for the girls, checking identifications, making sure that the teams that take the field are legitimate. And I'm hoping that it'll be a good day for them when the rain holds off. What's one of the things that you've noticed, you know, over the many years of rugby league as uh, female football kicked off, the, the difference between when it started to now? They're getting younger. That's a good thing, right? It is a good thing. But when I first came on the scene, a lot of the women were probably in the late 20s, 30s area. You still get the odd one of those, but not too many. Now they're in the early 20s <laughs> and their teens, just able to take the field for an open grade team. And who's some of the uh, young ladies that you've been involved with that you've seen, you know, grow up and go on to higher honours? You know, who's some of your favourite players? Oh, there's a numerous amount of them. Laura Mario is probably one of those ones. 
um, then you've got the Serena Fisos and Nadine Conlon, who's actually with New Zealand Rugby League as the Kiwi manager. Yeah. Um, Louisa Avoki, who was the Kiwi Ferns captain while I was managing. And I think she was also the Auckland captain for a couple of years as well. So there's and Lorena Papali'i, who only just played recently in the national women's competition. Um, a lot of people were surprised to see how she plays, but that's just normal for her. That's something we've seen all the time since she's been playing. And one thing in regards to you know the girls playing in the NRL, how do you what's your thoughts on that? I think it's a good thing. Long time coming. Um, it's just a pity that it's not a little bit longer for them. But for those who are just coming out of the scene, um, some of them are starting to look at maybe returning to have it a, have a go at it. Um, last year I know that Trish Heater, who was probably one of the favourites of the women's game, and probably compared to making the Kiwi side by Frank Endicott at one trial, yeah. um, she came back, had a shot at the trials, missed out, but still has it. And look, you know, in the many years you've been involved with rugby league, and especially focusing around, you know, the, the young ladies that play, you've got a wealth of experience, don't deny it. If there was a, one piece of advice that you would give a young female rugby league player, what would it be? Play your own game. Just don't listen to all the hype and carrying on around you. Um, just be yourself uh, and train hard. Well, listen, on behalf of the Auckland Rugby League, you know, I, uh, I enjoy working alongside you each and every day. It gives me such a blessing. Um, and look, we want to thank you for everything that you've done in uh, female rugby league on behalf of uh, everyone who's involved. Thank you. Can I go? Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2018 Fairly Photos Women in League Day. We're live at Cornwall Park in Auckland. The sun coming out just on cue for kickoff in the first of our live streamed games. We've had games going on uh, across the day so far here at Cornwall Park, but our first live stream game will be the curtain raiser to the big one. It is Manurewa taking on Otahuhu in the under 15s competition. This competition, part of the new uh, suite of grades available for girls in the Auckland Rugby League, along with the under-13s and under-17s. And we're building up to the big one, Mount Albert up against Richmond in the Farrelly Photos Women's Premiership. Now going to welcome in Troy Hardy into the commentary booth. Well, Troy, a bit of uh, wind around today, but other than that, uh, pretty good conditions for footy. Yeah, absolutely. Again, great to be here, Corey. Thanks for that, mate. Uh, ground's looking pretty in good shape. Good, Nick. And, um, and look at that fabulous ground there. That's something special you don't see every day as um, the guys are being very creative with our camera work here. So welcome into Cornwall Park. But as I was saying, the grounds, um, we've had a wee bit of traffic off here over the last three, four weeks. So, you know, last week, if you sort of wind the, the clock back to last year, sorry, uh, it was a bit of a mud fest down <laughs> was here. It ever. And um, the park's in pretty good shape. So the girls should be able to get around, you know, have good shape in regards to um, speed, pass, yeah. ball, you know, run, catch, do all that good stuff. And uh, so looking forward to an exciting rugby league today. Now we're going to bring up the team list for the two teams who will take the field today as the referee calls them out onto the field. So that is how they will take the field today. And it is the fourth place Manurewa Marlins up against the third placed Otahu side. Otahu coming into this one with three wins and two losses to their name. And Rewa, two wins, two losses and a draw. And Otahu with the slightly better points difference coming into this one. So it should be a really good game today, Troy. Of course, um, we've spoken at length about uh, the Kiwi Ferns connection with the Auckland competition, and this is where it all begins. So great to see the young girls out here given a chance today on the live stream. I know it'll be something they've all been looking forward to. Yeah, absolutely. And um, both clubs have got some superstars, you know, in regards to the, I suppose, the uh, premier ladies that play in both clubs, both Otahu and uh, Manurewa. So they've certainly got people to look up to, people to gain insight from, and people to gain knowledge from. So, um, you know, it's, I think we're in for a wee bit of something special today. And welcome aboard for everyone, live stream partners, CTAS, beaming live around the world, courtesy of the Auckland Rugby League. And you can get to the live stream through aucklandleague.co.nz. So we'll be ready to get us underway off the boot of Vaka. 
And away we go. Kick. Bouncing ball, which is a, a tricky one. First up for Otahu. Great to see the Otahu girls rocking the pink socks today. Excellent carry forward. Takes them up to just short of halfway. And just for all of our viewers in, so they know that the under-15s is a 20-minute game each way. Dominant tackle that time from Manurewa. I slow that play the ball down. Come up to this left edge now. Nice Carry forward from there. Mapusua. Heads back in. Break down the right edge now. Scramble defense coming across from Manurewa. Natoku, who makes the crucial tackle at the end there. And now Atahu, who looked to move the ball on. And we might have the first try of the game here. There and it there is. it is, the first try of the game. And it is Ramona Henry, who goes over. So first set of the game. And points straight away for Otahu. Really positive start for them, Sean. It all started with a good carry down here, which took them up over halfway. And then from there, a couple of quick play the balls, and they got on a roll. Yeah, the uh, number 12 for Otahu. You might have to just bring that name up. Yeah, Shade Shomkul. Yeah, Shomkul. Um, she looked good on the edge over here on the left-hand side. And uh, I think she'll be interesting to keep an eye on throughout the day. Showed a wee bit of footwork at the uh, line. And it had a great carry first up. Kicks a little bit short, so that's waved away. So, um, Otahu with the early 4 0 lead. Looking forward to the main clash today, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you uh, beam in on that one. Richmond up against Mount Albert, and I think that's going to be a bell ringer. So Tahu prepare to get us back underway with the nines format. Drop kicks rather than off the tee. Back to it we go. Low driven kick which is taken on the full initially and then dropped by Alan Mokaraka. This Manurewa side following in the footsteps of the hugely successful senior Great women's step. team. We won the competition last year. And once again, the pace setters in the Fairly Photos Women's Premiership. Good communication from our referee today. Good contact that time from Otahu as well. So Rewa now giving the ball a bit of air. And directing wow, traffic. Wow, great pass. Nice little bit of work there from Vaka. Balls come loose. And they need to be careful here, Rewa. Dives on the ball, right up against that sideline, just short of halfway. We'll dart down the short, wisely heads back in field, looks to move play on, that's gone forward, knock on each way. This will be an Otahu ball at the end of it. So just broke down a little bit there, Troy, but some classy touches from the Rewa number six. Yeah. Letitia Vaka, who looked really good when she started directing traffic down that side of the field. She was pretty vocal too. She was, you know, screaming out orders, trying to get their shape together. Big thank you to all of our female league fans down here, referees, match managers, volunteers. Just an awesome day. So Tahu beat the scrum. And head out towards this left edge. A couple of little Great fiend. decoy runs. And now a breakout on this left edge. And it's a promising run as well. Still going down the sideline is Fakor Salia. Yeah, they've got some great back rowers as the Otahu team. Jumping out of dummy half. All danger stacked on this left edge. They've gone to the right. Now they move play on. Henry shifts it one further. Shomkul, who's tackled just short of the line. 
Now another good carry forward. We were on their line. We wait for confirmation. Here it is. This will be the second try of the game. And Otaho who are in again. Take a look on the Fairly Photos replay. Split the line there, Shonkong. Did very well. Committed a couple of defenders. All bunched in around the rock. And they just went numbered up where they rewit. And as a result. Nice Big little fan. fend there. Yeah. Had a fair bit of work to do still. So nicely finished try from Tamara Ati. So Otahu double the lead. Kick to come. Which looks like it was away. Score remains. Otahu Leopards 8. And the Omarwins nil. They're beating the clock right now on the scoreboard. So the scoring team restarts. Yeah, we were a bit slow to get back to their position. They're having a good chat behind the end goal there. Just trying to settle things down a little bit. And it's a very short one. Probably scuffed off the boot that time on the dropout. Difficult pick up, but... Manurewa get there in the end, and now they look to move the ball early in the set. 40 metres off the line. Conrad is tackled. Move play on. Good bumping carry forward from Phillips, who's still going Great Phillips. Tackle. Great contact. Nearly half her size, too. Bucker now, a little bit of footwork, moves the ball on. Space out on this left edge now, and they break down the sideline via Pehima, who might not be caught. She's into open space here. There's cover coming across. It won't get there in time. So Manurewa hit back, and it is Shanice Pehima who scores the try. And it all started from some nice work once again from Letitia Vaka. Moving down that left edge and then into a yawning gap. And then from here... Well, they're always up against it, Otahu. There was cover defense coming across. She's going to love the time. action replay. And just on the replays too, ladies and gentlemen, all available on the Auckland Rugby League YouTube channel. And I dare say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's action, especially with the young ladies out there, all the replays will get absolutely thrashed. Yeah, first time on a, a televised match for a lot of these girls. Fair attempt off the drop conversion, but just wide. Big crowd down here today, Corey. Lots of people around the around both parks. All three all three parks are in action at the moment. Three fields. We saw that last year as well, didn't we? Huge crowd turned up to watch the Women in League event. Such a huge part of our game now. And it's only getting bigger. The Starting up of the NRL Women's Premiership, which kicks off at the end of the year. The New Zealand Warriors going to be part of that. And with it, a whole lot of our Auckland talent. Vaka. Nice kick. It's back underway. It's allowed to bounce by Tahu. And pick it up. They beat the first line. This is a good initial carry. Holani. Gets to a quick play of the ball as well. There's a chance out here on this left edge if Tahu want to go this way. Instead, they're going to... Keep working up through the middle for the time being. Up over halfway now. The Leopards rolling through the middle of the field. Little initial fend here. That's a really good carry forward from Buck Orsalia. Yeah, every time she's touched the ball, Corey, she's looked dangerous too. Henry. Henry again, the first receiver. Now they're moving on. There's a gap out here on this right edge. Can they execute it? Otahu holding the ball up. Great defense, though, from Manurewa getting across. Making a key tackle there now. They got to this right edge again. It looks like it's going to be another try. And it is Isani Tofa who crashes over from dummy half. Played some footy with the Auckland Vulcans women's representative age group team. Also represented both Tonga and Samoa at age group level. 
Well, impressive stuff the Otahu Leopards. Had the ball four times. You can see Scored here. Scored three. Play the ball, the key. And they jump out. And by the time Rewa realise what's going on, it's too late. They certainly know to throw the ball around too. It's not been one off the ruck. You know, they've been going from coast to coast, so they know what they're doing. And I guess that's something really positive about the nines format. And we see it with the boys and the girls. It probably encourages uh, developing those key skills, doesn't Troy, the catch, the pass, looking for space on the field. It is a really good concept, particularly for a competition like this. It gives girls the best chance, the best start in footy. Throwing the ball around, don't they? Ooh, Big the crowd contact. loved that. Yeah, and she and felt it. Not so much the ball carrier. Some of the time off here while the injured player is attended to. So that young lady bounces back up onto her feet. Just getting checked out now with the, the magic water, Corey. Otahu having a wee bit of an interchange over there on the right-hand edge. And we've got, is that Juanita Woodhouse over there in the match manager's tent? Yes, indeed, along with Olivia from the Auckland Rugby League. And their match managing duty for this one. So at the end of all that, I think we're going to get a penalty for a shoulder charge by the look of it. And the clock will restart. Back onto her feet. It's good stuff. The woman in league, Pink Stephen Football, finds touch. Here come the Marlins on attack. That was lovely. <laughs> so eventually we'll get to a restart of play and there's the tap and the go from Manurewa. Good carry forward there. That's a good start to the set off the back of the penalty. But down the right edge they come. Little juggle. A little bit of nice offload oh. at the end of it, but it's put down. And that's unfortunate there. It was really good thought initially. Impressed with Adahu's um, defense. They've got great technique in their tackling. So the Leopards get back to it now. She's a top little footballer, that one. Ati. Ati's a big, strong girl. Still, still, yeah, handful. Hanging on down low was Vaka, but unfortunately it's broken down and it will be a drop. So a couple of drop balls starting to come to this one now. Let's say to who's first one. Manuri, where you're right, Corey. They've had a couple of handling errors. So Phillips gets this set underway, and a four man, four woman tackle, I should say, meets her just short of halfway. Vaka on the ball now, goes to the line now, and has a little right. run. That's Show great vision go. straight through. Vucker is in open space now. Cover coming across. I don't think they're going to get there. 
Brilliant try. Let's have a look at the and it is photo replay on that one. Letitia Vucker, who we'd just praised earlier for her ball playing, but this is just great vision. Comes off a good carry from Phillips, and then here, Boom. just holds him up, sells him on the dummy, but what about the footwork? She got some toe too. Look, she couldn't even get a hand on it. Let the pitchers do the talking, I say, Corey. It's quite poetic, Troy. Great try. Fabulous stuff. Yep, something we can all agree on. That was brilliant rugby league from the Manuel Marlins. Well, I think we might have um, witnessed a future star there. I was very impressed with the pace off the mark. And the girls in the background here, look, they, some of them didn't even move. They just watched her <laughs> sail on down to the try line. So now to attempt the conversion as well. And it's over. And we have a two-point ball game. She is, she loved that. She's still feeling the effects of that 60 metre run. Was a... Mate, by the end of today, that will be 90 metres. <laughs> Great try. So about five minutes to go in this first half. The curtain raiser here at the Farrelly Photos Woman in League date. Unusually. Run the length of the field, score a try, kick the goal, come back and restart. Yeah, she's doing it all. Probably drive the team bus home afterwards as well. Under 15, she better not be driving any bus, Corey. Good point. <laughs> uh, short one, short. which isn't going to go 10, so we should have a penalty at the end of this. And maybe <laughs> we'll say, we don't want a bar of that. Wait for the penalty. Probably see a tap and go here. Two points in this. In keeping with the nines format. Could carry forward from Henry. He's been solid in this game. Late switch to the number 15 jersey from the number 3 jersey. Well, I probably informed the club lost the number 3 jersey. Great fend and carry and the offload. Great rugby league from Fakor Salia. Now they centralise Otahu. They're looking the goods here. A little jump out, looking to keep those markers on us, and there's going to be an error there. So unfortunate that it broke down there, because their work to get to that point of the field has been really solid. Troy, you're right, you've mentioned her name a few times, but down this left edge, Monica Bakosalia, got a really good carry, looks for that offload. Well balanced too, no? she's got a oh, great oh, cover tackle. tackle. And guess who? Very yeah. good, we're just giving a rap to. Yeah. Now Jeez. Rewa, with a fair bit of work to do here. Look at the line speed from Otahu. You put a GPS tracker on her, mate. She's been running up side to side all over the field, tackling as well as running. So the Leopards now looking to lift their enthusiasm in defence, and it's a very good defensive set so far. Rewa is still inside their 25 here. And now they will look to spread the ball. Here's a good carry forward and just breaks down. It was into open space if she'd brought that one in. But Otahu now get things going and get it going quickly. Slow play the ball. Very good carry. Looking for the offload there. Nothing forthcoming. Tackle complete on that occasion. And off the mark. Off the mark is back. The call. So Henry is the dummy half. Spreads the ball on. It's a pretty poor pass, but picked up. Henry. Going to keep Great those team. markers on us, but that is good. Two-person tackle there from Rewa. Come back to the middle of the sticks. Here's a powerful carry. That's over, I think. We're going to wait for confirmation. But it is Jan Holani who scores Otahu's fourth try of the game. Let's take a look now on the Fairly Photos replay. It starts with a really good work here from Henry, who was involved heavily in that set. 
And then here, well, it's all power. A little jump nice out of dummy half. Pass, nice yeah. little short ball. A little bit of footwork there, Troy, just to Stretch. throw Bucker off. That stretches out the score. Conversion from the front's a bit of a shocker. So the score remains 16-10. You would have heard that just come through. 25 seconds on the clock. Perfect. So they'll be lucky to get a play in here. About 10 seconds left by my count. Drop goal halfway. Siren goes in the background. And what the re would do here, do you throw it around? Hit down the left edge, get the offload, load. and they will. Oh, 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 oh crunching it. That. Uh, And that will get us to half time. And there's probably sure a Manuel Iwa player there who was uh, wishing that restart hadn't been allowed because that was a big, big tackle from That's his half time. Yep. So that'll get us to the break. Shows a lot of courage. Young lady, took the hit well, she'll walk that off as we head to half time. Don't go away, ladies and gentlemen. As we break down, have a little highlights reel for you. Lynn Cameron, women's advocate. I hope you're enjoying all the action today for the 2018 Farrelly Photos Women in League Day. Don't go anywhere. Up next we've got Mount Albert versus Richmond. It's going to be a massive clash. Can't wait. <laughs> Come back, don't go away. We've got a big clash this afternoon, 2.30 p.m. Mount Albert, Mrs. Richmond. <laughs> 